kind of reminiscent of that creature that you that Leva accidentally summoned um, not too long ago. You know, kind of in a um, uh, a scowling, mouth open, teeth showing its teeth pose. Uh, it's weird. There is I also been... a a large tapestry uh, on the wall of a winged centaur like creature. And that's basically it. Uh, there's some other, you know, basic accoutrements, uh, you know, around. There's a rather plain-looking rug on the floor so that, you know, you're not getting out of bed on a, a cold stone floor in the morning sort of, sort of thing. So there might be a spell book in this footlocker. I check the desk. Uh, define check the desk. Uh, I go and I look at, see if I can open the drawers and such. If okay. there are any drawers, or what's and look and see what's on top of it. Uh, let's see. Um, so on top of the desk, uh, you see some uh, sheets of paper, um, a, a parchment actually. Um, there's some uh, uh, jars of ink. Um, oddly enough, uh, one of them at least is rather normal ink, but the others not so much. Uh, you're not sure what exactly they are filled with. Um, I point out those special jars to ink to lever and see if the whatever important for her to have a look at. Drop a bit of ink on the paper, see what happens. Like well, you're also bit. talking about, you know, I mean, parchment isn't exactly cheap. Mm. Yeah, it's not. Um, so the the desk also has some drawers in it. If you want to. Yeah, if they're not locked, I'll open them. Okay. Um, I have two sheets of paper. We could use one of those. Okay, uh, you slide open uh, one of the drawers next to the, uh, um, uh, you know, on the side. And, you might uh, want to get left. Braxton uh, says, you might want to get left to check those drawers if you're going to start opening them. I'm saying nothing. He's quite keen to open them, ma'am. They weren't locked. Still might have traps in. Well, it's too late now. Um, there's some more uh, sheaves of parchment inside one, and uh, um, well, inside the drawer, I should say. Uh, there's just the one drawer. Uh, there are some more uh, quills, and um, there's a scroll case of some sort. Uh, it's not a tube; it's actually a, a case. Does it contain any scrolls? I don't know. You haven't opened it yet. Uh, is, does the scroll case look locked? Uh, it's just latched as far as you can tell. Uh, I mentioned it's, I, to... I look at it, I'm like, that might have a magic spell on it. Because I remember hearing about Lathdol's encounter with a scroll case with a magic, with a trapped magic scroll that wasn't locked. So I'll just hand that off. Hand it off to whom? To uh, Laftel. Well, I mean, he's an it. illusionist. Oh, I'd give it to Lover. I'd assume it'd be wizard spells, considering he was a wizard. Scroll case hot potato here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Lever. <laughs> Laftel hands it off to you. I open it up. Okay, there are some uh, sheets of parchment in there uh, with writing on them. I look at those. Um, you can't make heads or tails of them without a read magic. How many are there? Three. Okay, I can't at the moment. I'm out of spells and... Yeah. Just put them back in or we'll look at them later then. What else? Is... We put those away for until the next day where we can figure it out. Maybe. Okay. Cool. Are we... People making note of what what's being taken. Yep, I have weird ink vials, uh, scroll case, three scrolls, and parchment. I'm assuming uh, you guys want to take the parchment with you. Mm -hmm. Should we just keep it in a group, please? Parchment so is That's why we have it right now. All right, uh, Laftel, could you take a look at that chest for us, please? I can do. Do you want me to check traps? 
Yeah, please. I check it for chops. Alrighty. As far as you can tell, there's no trap. I don't know if it's magically trapped. Uh, I shrugged to the party. That was after uh, examining it for uh, seven minutes. Mm hmm. Is it there? Alright. I see if it's openable. It does not open. <sighs> I sigh. Does this have a lock on it? It's probably magically locked as well. I can only cast that spell that opened the door once a day. Does okay. it have a lock on it? Oh, I couldn't open it. I... Does it have a mechanism on it, I guess? I look around it. Uh, it does, but oh. it's a, more of a latch type mechanism uh, than an actual like key lock. There's a gnome with us, by the way. Uh, he's standing in the doorway and just kind of, like, peeking in. I, I asked the gnome, have you seen this kind of lock before? We weren't allowed in here. You're allowed you in here now. You can then you come. I've never seen anything like... Well, I mean, it's a... It's a I've not seen Is that it specific gnomish? thing. Yeah. It, it's, a, it's, it's a latch. Come in, but really be careful. It's a latch. <laughs> All said it was a latch. <laughs> I'll say to the gnome, come in, but be careful what you touch, just in case it's traps. Oh, it's a good thing you said that, because I was about to have him go uh, uh, flip the latch. He, uh, right. he he reaches his hand out to show you that it's just a latch, and then stops at uh, Braxton's statement. And puts his hand, <laughs> he, like, puts his hand in, in his pocket. Just right, open. I... You guys worried about opening it? Do you want me to give it a go? Well, if it's a magical thing, then perhaps I should be the one that opens it. Mm. Yeah, That's a good idea. Has eight points at the moment. Yeah, I got eighteen. Um, probably, perhaps everybody should uh, step outside. I'm gonna I back it. away slowly. I just go to the back uh, of the room and have my shield out, ready to cover my face. Yeah, that's a good <laughs> idea. I'm gonna have my shield up as well. I will try to open it all. I just roll my eyes. All right. Uh, one d ten. <laughs> Higher is better. Well, one d ten. Uh, no, lower is better. I'm sorry. Yeah, one d ten lower is better. Where is? Oh, one d twenty. I'm sorry. One d twenty. Sorry, my bad. Somebody's well, rolling eyes. Is he? There we go. Is he breaking it open or what? Yeah, basically. Oh. He didn't undo when, the lock. When you He's use strength, the when you use strength to open a uh, open something, yeah, you're breaking it open. Oh, I, I, I didn't Can't use intelligence to try and open the latch. He's already trying. Yeah. He's already told you guys to to move out. I mean, unless you want to try to stop him as he's trying. You know, I before... thought he was just undoing the latch. I saw yeah, that's why I thought. Off. Off. Yeah. Oh well, I mean, yeah, he's yeah, not you... breaking okay. it. Okay, all right, all right. Then you undo the latch and nothing happens. But you haven't tried like lifting the lid. I'll try lifting the lid now. It does Once not. It does not lift. Uh, I'll look over and I'll say uh, it's still not lifting up. Do you want me to try to force it? Uh, maybe there's another latch. Uh, it might destroy the contents. Let's uh, just take the whole chest. Does it, does How it big is from it? the floor? It's pretty big. I, th I, I, think, carry it. I think if that contains magical scrolls, it might be best for one of our spellcasters to try to disable whatever that mechanism is on the top, just in case it destroys the contents. Mm -hmm. Yeah, or bring it to a wizard in town. They can dispel the magic. Uh, we have Lava a wizard. Can... Plenty good enough. Yeah, Lava can cast dispel magic, right? No. For, no. That, for both of us. Well, I mean, like, uh, you could uh, unlock it with your knock spell, right? That's what you called it? I, uh, I have once, it, once you fruit. Once you have time to no, rest. Does that work? I with might be able to do it. Okay. Well, if, if that doesn't work, we could cut the bottom off. Yeah. Well, we all have a try at it. Yeah. If someone wants to carry it. Uh, was, what do you want me to call this? Alt. A footlocker? Engraved cedar footlocker. That way I know what it is If uh, when you ask me later. Oh, um, can Braxton have a look around this footlocker and see if he can see any hidden catches? Sure. Uh, let's see. Just in case there's like, uh, 
Mafdal looks underneath the press or something. Uh, that, that's and the, the like the latch is a pretend latch and there's a real latch. Uh, you don't see anything uh, like that. Is it held together with screws? Not as far as you can tell. Uh, Generally, that kind of thing is not held together by screws. Yeah, well, I'm just wondering if... I mean, Braxton does ship's carpentry, but I'm just wondering if he can get an idea of how you could take it apart if we wanted to take it apart to get in it. Uh, I, I think wooden chests are usually... Um, I mean, you know, they might be uh, bound with metal, uh, but this one is yeah. not. Uh, otherwise, uh, oftentimes, they, they're... Uh, you know, like peg built with glue. Are there hinge pins on the on the lid that are visible? Yeah. Okay. Look, if you look here, there's some hinges. So it, we'll it's leave it for a bit. And if you can't use some magic to get it open, uh, we can try we can try disassembling these hinges to see if we can get the roof off, uh, the lid off. All right. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Um, before we leave this room, I will check the bed, like, yeah. under the mattress and everything. It seems, uh, it's a comfortable bed with a comfortable mattress, so sized for a gnome. Nothing, like, underneath it or anything, underneath no. the mattress. No. In the pillowcase. Nope. Shake the pillow about. Is it, is it got anything inside of it? Um, you unleash a cloud of feathers. No, I'm not tearing it apart. Nope, too, oh, too late. Too late. You unleash a cloud of feathers. I'm going to I'm only shaking it too, to too, see if there's I'm, anything heavy. I'm glad I moved far back. It, 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 it was uh, uh, folded clothes uh, as opposed to, like, sewn clothes, so you could put new feathers in it. Uh, and, you put uh, new feathers in it? It's like down feathers. And Is there's now there's now a cloud of down uh, filling the room, uh, causing you all to sneeze. Choo! Wait, uh, even me, even though I, it I stacked up, the breaks up into laughter. <laughs> what about those that backed up that not get caught in a blast radius? No, no. Too bad. Come, too bad. It, it filled all, the whole area. Everyone's uh, uh, sneezing. Can we make a safe versus chicken to nope. avoid sneezing? Nope. Actually, I... DM Fiat oh, says God. that uh, you yes. shook the uh, pillow, uh, all the feathers out of the pillow, and it's now filling the area and causing everyone to sneeze. Great. I just leave <laughs> the room before the sneezing gets too bad. All right. Move to the next area. You, That's uh, it in this room, right? Thanks, everybody. You going to do anything about the, uh, uh, the tapestry? It's pretty nice. Well... Uh... We might be taking this place over, so... Okay. Well, uh, we, the the tapestry. Tapestry for money. we need the money more Bra than... Braxton's going to look behind the tapestry in case there's a secret door. Nope, you don't find anything behind there other than a <laughs> uh, rock wall. You don't find the secret uh, door. Now, nope. the, a, a, as you're moving the, the tapestry, you realize that uh, it is made of uh, pretty fine cloth. Uh, although it's pretty heavy. Uh, it's pretty thick. This tapestry. is a nice tapestry. I have to take it and sell it because we need the money more. Can just Should we sell the gnomes as well? I, I mentioned. <laughs> and I don't hide on what I'm saying. Leo uh, actually that that's a very good idea with the secret room. And she comes in to have a look as well. Uh, I guess elves are a lot better at looking at that stuff anyway, aren't they? Yeah. yeah. Alright, so you Leva, sure you're, this... you're taking a look for a uh, secret chamber? Yes. Alright, you don't, you don't see any uh, or find anything. Nothing, uh, nothing seems suspicious in here that you can tell. Okay. Left door? Is there any draft in the room? Uh, no, but it's filled with uh, uh, down feathers floating in the air. So, uh, you know, I mean, <laughs> I as you're spending the, at... uh, the 20 minutes looking around, um, you know, you're, you're sneezing quite a bit. I'm, the feathers I'm just, the I, I look at everybody, it's like, I'm not going into that room until those feathers settle. Laftal picks up a handful of feathers and he throws it at Yeldon. And I try to... I just walk, walk out. I just walk, walk out, out to the dining hall area. You can't exactly throw feathers. Yeah, well, walking up to them, trying to throw feathers. They catch in the air right after you release some kind of thing and kind of float around. 
It depends how much. I am laughing when I see Laftel trying to throw feathers at me. It's a, you can't throw feathers. Not yet. Anyone else want to look around for? Uh, I mean, were, were you looking as well, Laftel? Yeah, I'd look around to see other people looking around. You know, I guess everyone would be sort of looking around. All right. Nope. You don't see anything uh, suspicious. Uh, no walls that you knock on sound hollow. You don't see any or feel any. No uh, daggers any in the wall that you can. Nope. <laughs> so this tapestry, um, is it a magical uh, tapestry? Mm. You haven't. <laughs> Anyone? Detect, no one's cast detect magic. Yeah. Well, what, was gotta... it tap what was it? Tapestry of? Oh, it was the chair that you said looked a bit like that creature. Uh, yeah, the, the chair looks like the uh, the winged creature that uh, uh, Leva summoned. The tapestry is uh, of a winged centaur-like uh, creature, female, uh, wearing uh, armor of some sort, um, carrying a lance on a starfield. How big is the tapestry? How big? Uh, it's pretty big. Is, does that it go from ceiling to floor, or what? And uh, I mean, yeah, give or take. Would hmm. that? Would that fit in our common room in our ship? I would have to go look at the floor plan and everything. Okay, fair enough. Um, take it down. So I will, uh, you want to first find out whether it's magic or not, and if it's magical, then you want to first find out what the effects are before you actually go and plonk it down somewhere uh, somewhere else. Yeah, it's might yeah, be maybe. magical. All right, I'll, li I'll Seems leave. I'll leave. Uh, random. If we're going to search the rest of the place, I'll leave um, the door, my door wedge in the door for now. Yeah. And uh, I'll pop my head into um, I'll pop my head into the kitchen and say, um, "There's a few. We've opened up uh, the chamber that you you lot were told not to go into. Um, there's a few feathers flying around." Yeah. Um, <laughs> if you wouldn't mind, take the feathers. You better not get into it, any of the soup. Yeah, well, if one of you wouldn't mind popping in there later and putting them back in the pillowcase, that that would be really helpful. They hey, laugh. Cool. They well, laugh at you. That they should do that. Well, you you make the mess. You clean it up. Yeah, I was gonna say this would be against levels kind of anti-slavery. Well, kind of thing based uh, on the background. Not, it's not their job to do that. No. Well, we use one of them from the ship to do it. I just look at him and be like, shake my head. It's like, don't even bother. It'll take too far, far too long to clean that mess up. Oh, um, I did uh, forget that uh, one of the uh, pieces of parchment that you found is actually written in uh, common. It's a uh, just a letter. Uh, let's that? see. Sorry, I completely forgot about that part. Um, do, do, do. Who can read? Ocar and Lever. There's people who can read, it's fine. Oh, so it might be from uh, House to Lane. Yeah, yeah. Kip's, uh, a quick skim uh, reveals that. Um, and it reads... Oh, I don't remember if I changed the name of the ship or not. Let's assume I didn't. Uh, my esteemed Devart, I've just confirmed the fate of the Morning Star. My spies inform me that both the ship and its cargo have been lost to the depths of space. Uh, the scaver has performed well, and I have taken the liberty of enclosing your payment in cut gems. Please extend my congratulations to Captain Brovadar and his crew. Your next target will be... Uh, let's see, what was it? Alright, he names the, uh, uh, the... This letter then names the ship that House Torlin lost. Uh, I don't remember if I renamed it, and I would have renamed it, and I don't remember what I renamed it to, so just assume that that was taken care of. Uh, the ship is of little consequence to me. The cargo will be light, just enough to divert suspicion away from my house. My messenger uh, my messenger carries a map of uh, its route, and it is due to arrive in Scalabar within days, so watch for it. Uh, did I, I... Brawl, sorry. Uh, I'm looking forward to hearing about my unfortunate loss. Zarek Torlin. So, that's basically confirming that uh, Torlin yeah. sank his own ship. Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh, oh he's, he's so screwed. He's already been chess. The um, the captain's name is different from Drake. 
Does that mean there's a? Didn't I? No, I, that's that's the name of the guy who was in the the ship. I thought you said Bra Bravador or something on the letter. Brobodier. Oh, okay. that's his last that name. That could be his last name, yeah. Ah, oh, right. Okay. It's Sorry. Drake Brobodar, yeah. No, I was just wondering if we had uh, a second person hiding somewhere. No, you remember uh, hearing that uh, Drake Br Brobodar was supposedly uh, killed by um, Brawl's uh, navy um, years ago, actually. Yeah. Oh, yes, I remember that. It's also the guy who who supposedly took him out who was on the paper wasp. Yeah. Anthony. Yeah. Can you um can you have a look through any of the other bits of paper, see if there's any mention of uh the paper wasp? No. Oh, I guess that letter was sent back. That letter was the only one in uh, that was written in common as I understood that. Yeah, the other yeah. the other sheets that have writing on them are not written in common. Uh and okay. they're not written in a specific language, the other ones. It's it's pretty obvious that they're written in uh um uh, Okay, yeah, Brax is going to... I languages. have cryptography. I have cryptography if it's written in... It, no, no. It, it's, it's, it, it's not written in a language. It's written in magical script. You need read magic. Okay. Brax is going to pop back in the kitchen and say, I have a question for you. Have you been asked to make food for any captives at any point? You mean Drake? Drake's a captive? Captain. No, not captain. Captives. Uh, Drake, oh, oh, sorry. No, I thought Drake, you were saying. Uh, yeah, yeah. No, no. I thought you were saying captain. Uh, captive. No. Uh, no, no. We haven't made any food for captives. Right. Drake's uh, been responsible for uh, sinking some ships, and if we can recover anyone from any of those ships, uh, it would be very helpful. Mm, okay. No one was brought Thank back from any of the trips of the uh, the scaver. Okay. Uh, we'll ask the crew if they can maybe retrace their steps. Uh, there might be some people we can rescue. They will not be able to do that. <laughs> the gnomes, the gnomes did not... Uh, uh, the, the gnomes operated the ship. They didn't pilot it. Ah, uh, right. Okay. Fair enough. But they can tell me that later. Yeah. I mean, they would have, they would have told you that already. AKA okay. the re part of the reason why they were not allowed in the captain's room. The only place that has a window. So, all is this going off somewhere else right there? Uh, what? Ping it again. Uh, no. no. Like so that's wall. a wall there. Okay. Yeah, that's just a wall. All okay, right. let's check the rest of the caves then. Or is let's there check... any other uh, doorways in no. this area here? No, you've explored no. everything on that side. Nooks in the wall. I think we head up here next. Yeah, we met to the off, the first of the off-limit areas. No, uh, no that's storage. No, that's first storage. Oh, storage. Yeah, we'll go look at storage and see if the stolen card goes there. All right. Okay. Let's see. Go ahead and reveal this. All right. So these are some more um, rough-hewn stairs up into. Uh, Uh, a large chamber. Oh, looks like we lost someone. I'm Probably. still here. I just lost. I just accidentally lo lost the window. Okay. All right. <coughs> Pardon me. Um. So, uh, you uh, ascend some st some rough stairs uh, up into a uh, um. Uh, what's clearly a storage room. Uh, this is, let's see, how big is it? Uh, doesn't actually say how big it is, but, uh, assume that it's about, you know, 10, 15 feet tall at, at the, the top. Uh, it is not actually lit up, uh, but there is some light, uh, coming from, uh, uh, Brex is going to get... Uh, it, it's, it's enough, yeah, it's that. enough that you can look around, it's just, you know, it's not pitch dark. Um, but it's kind of shadowed because light's coming in from from each of the other two uh, caverns. Brax going to take out his lantern then. Okay, is that the magical one? Yeah. Okay. Um, it's easy enough to see around it around here. Uh, let's see. So there's a bunch of sacks of uh, grain and uh, other food stuff uh, right here. It's just piled high. Uh, non perishable. Yeah, basically. 
Um, there's a stack of uh, good lumber, uh, some barrels of ale, and uh, there's also a crate uh, with a symbol that uh, looks like it might be a wheel lock pistol. Okay. Um, Let's uh, flip up the crate and see if we can see that symbol. Okay, there's uh, also, a, there's also a, a, a chest in here as well. Yeah. Let's flip uh, up the crate and see if we can see the symbol that we were told uh, would identify crate stolen from house um, the house we're working for. Uh, Calhoun, yeah. Calhoun. Um, this crate is empty, uh, and uh, you do not see any um, uh, Calhoun marks on the crate. Oh. Right. Okay, next room. Well, there's, there's still there's also a chest. chest. In here. Yeah, let's have a look in the chest. Um, All right. Do we want to get Laftel to check the test? Yeah. Well, I don't think it'll be trapped, but I'll just do a regular lock. We still uh, have the gnome with us? It doesn't look like it's locked. There's there's no uh, there's a latch, but uh, no lock. I just unlatch it and open it up if I can. Okay. Um... It is filled with a uh, wheel lock pistol shot. <laughs> this is the shot, the, not the powder. Right. Ah. Oh. Nice. I, I, I shrug and look at to Asher. Is it valuable? Scratch my yes. head. Uh, uh, pistol, we... shot, pistol shot is not that valuable. Uh, can we tip that up and see if it's got a uh, account tip. mark on it? Close it and look on the bottom, I assume. Yeah, yeah. close it, obviously. Uh, no, you don't see any identifying marks on it. Okay. Next room. I, I say, Tigamus, I guess this uh, belongs to you and our uh, weapon master. Yep. <laughs> Alright, so you're going to move on to the, the room that's off there? Yep. Yep. Alright. Uh, ask the gnome if he was allowed to go back this way, too. Oh yeah, we need to get uh, uh, food and uh, uh, ammunition when we uh, use it for target practice. Uh, we never had to shoot anything, though. Uh, I'm talking about uh, the soft beaten path here. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, as you walk in, uh, he says, uh, yeah, we, this, this is just storage. We were allowed back here. Where'd you keep your smoke powder? Keep screwing this up. <laughs> um, he uh, points... Uh, uh, down that way. It's down there. Okay. Uh, search, search to see if there's anything here that's so. supposed from that stolen goods. All right. Um, yeah. Again, yeah, none of these. Uh, there's a, a whole bunch of crates. Um, they actually appear to contain uh, steel plates, rivets, uh, tools, that sort of thing. Um, the gnome tells you. Uh, that these are spare parts for um, uh, the thresher. And there's also uh, kegs of oil and uh, barrels of tar. Okay, next room. Yeah, down here. Uh, the, uh, the This room is, all, is lit up by a uh, uh, continual light spell, by the way. Right. Brack's going to close up his lantern then. Okay. Well, this part is not lit up. I think Old would have said that you need to use some light source. Okay. If it, it mattered, I, I would I would tell you. Yeah, well, braxton has got the lens and he can o open it and close it at, at will. So he'll just That's open plenty it when of he needs to and yeah. close it when he doesn't. All right. Uh, let's see. God damn it. I keep doing that. There we go. All right. Um, you head down the stairs, and you you see that it uh, connects back up with the uh, um, the main cavern. There's also another cavern off it. Uh, but he coming down the stairs to your left is a small chamber filled with barrels. I'll check them out. And they're filled with smoke powder. <laughs> oh my god! Question: Are there any identifying marks on those barrels? There are not. <laughs> Does How it look much? like there's been, they've been removed? There are ten of these uh, kegs. 
Uh, yep. Higamus will kind of walk up to the barrels, and then he'll kind of be like, just just go on without me for a minute. I need a minute. <laughs> I look at Higamus, and I remind him, I remind him that this is possibly could be stolen property. Uh, finders keepers. Keep on going. Yeah. Doesn't no, the work one... that way on Brawl. Well, they uh, don't know about. Well, hang well, on. None of them on. had the mark. None of them had the mark. So. None of them have the mark, so they don't belong to a, uh, the house we're working for. And uh, we're working for the house we're working for. So we take back any of their property. And uh, if a house gets pirates to steal their own property, then it's our stuff. Um, I got a que- I got a question. Where did I ask the gnome where they got the barrels of smoke powder from? Uh, Evart got them. Uh, he uh he he said that he had a contact on on Brawl. I d- I don't know any details beyond that. Did you guys pick up anything from the ships that were the pirate ships that were sh- sunken? No. Right, let's have a look down this corridor then. So we're just confiscating this. It's ours now. Yeah, we can have a look further down. It's fine. All right. After uh, uh, Higamus uh, has his moment. Um... Yes. Covered in some <laughs> powder. Do we need some sort of music video for the... Some no, sort of no, fire? but you, you did hear something like a bow chicka wow wow sound coming out of there. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> He's there, like sniffing it, getting high off of it, like glue sniffing. Oh my gosh! Okay, this uh, <laughs> this passageway uh, curves around to a mostly empty chamber, uh, although the walls are lined with uh, ledges of some sort. Um, uh, the cave, the cavern is a good twenty feet high here. Um, there's no actual light, so it's just uh, what you've got with your uh, lantern. What's coming in from outside? Yeah. Um, is it's there just... anything on the ledges? Nope. Uh, do they look like ledges for climbing up? Uh, no, they look like they might have might be for storage or something like that, or uh, something like that. They're wide enough for a person to lie down in, and uh, they're even-ishly spaced. Um, hmm. I wonder if this is a burial chamber. Uh, I'll look over to the gnome. I'll look over the gnome. It's like, uh, what was this used for? It wasn't used. Oh, at all? Nope. Hmm. Was there anything in here before you guys moved in? Not that I recall. Okay. Take a closer look at all the ledges and stuff. Anything particular stick out about no, them? No, they're 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 plain. They're clear. Nothing's on them. Hmm. There there's some like indentations in some of the uh, um in some of the ledges. Like there might have been something. Uh, attached to them or resting on them or something like that at some point, but there's nothing there now and there's no indication of what they were. Are they covered in dust? Yeah. Could there be an illusion? The emptiness of the shelves? Could be. Uh-huh. Well, we don't have access to this spell magic now, do we? Is anyone going to disbelieve in the empty shelves? Yes, I disbelieve in the shelves. Go there. Okay. I'm gonna go walk over and see if I can pick up some swing. Leva, Leva actually had uh, uh, remembers the illusionist, and she disbelieves the empty shelves. All right, uh, you focus on the uh, the shelves, and yeah, nothing uh, nothing changes. Um... They still appear to be empty. I'm, what I'm gonna do? Roll the dice. I'm gonna walk Did... right up oh. to the shell. Okay. And I'm gonna yeah. take my hand and sweep it across the base of the shell, one of the shell, like bottom. So my hand's touching the bottom of the shell across. See if I hit anything. Okay, you're uh, you were fading out a little bit there, but I got what you were uh, getting at. Um, you uh, basically just you know like run your hand along the uh, the uh, some of the uh, the shelves and. Uh, were you? A- I'm sorry. Were you actually going to be touching the the shelves or not? No. I, uh, well, just like I a, kind of like my... an inch or half an inch above kind of thing, just moving your hand yep. through the air. 
Um, yeah, you don't encounter anything. Nothing. You don't touch anything or brush against anything that uh, appears to be invisible or something like that. Not touch the shelf. Here. I'm sorry. Is there After dust? Will, is there um, dust on the shelf? Yeah, there's there's dust. I mean, if you run your finger along it, you'll see dust, but uh, you can't really l see dust because they're you know they're stone. Okay, gotcha. Aftos just gonna put a, a potion vial on there, see what happens. And he's gonna take it back afterwards. Okay, you put a potion vial on one of the ledges and then uh, pick it back up again. Uh, I just go. Yeah, we'll leave it. <laughs> Nothing behind that, is there? We don't have the tools at the moment to figure all of this out. Alright, well, uh, uh, it is about uh, uh, 4 p.m. Uh, my time. Uh, it's the end of the yeah. The session. Yeah, and I'm planning to go to dinner later with my parents. So. All right. So let's uh, end it here. Uh, when we come back next time, we'll uh, uh, finish up uh, exploring the uh, the last three uh, passages off here. Okay. Uh, let me go ahead and total up some experience points. Woohoo! I'm pretty sure I did not earn that much since <laughs> since I did nothing. You still participated in the combat, so you get. Existence experience. <laughs> Maybe. Let's see. Not getting it gotten to do anything, but you still participated. True. Yep, alright. Do you do the XP ahead of time? No. I mean, I, I, I have the list of experience for the enemies, but I mean, it depends on how many enemies you fight and kill and what you do, so... Mm -hmm. Yeah, we, we kind of... We didn't kill the uh, the guys that dropped in the water, so... Well, they might have killed we us. Them, well, they, we beat we them. beat them, yeah. We beat them. Did you, though? Well, we yeah. chased them, them a couple of times. <laughs> Bra Braxton beat one of them. <laughs> with his with his mace. How much XP did we earn? I I haven't I haven't read it off yet. Give me a moment. He, he okay. beat them about the shoulders. No, he beat them about the ankles. <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, as far as Levi is concerned, this fight is not over yet. So mm. We're just having a break. All right, everyone uh, gets uh, 350 experience points. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And. Um, Braxen and Higamus get 70. Mm-hmm. All right. Do I get anything for opening a door, a knock spell? Uh... That's a magical door. <laughs> yeah, but it wasn't really, I mean... It wasn't really overcoming uh, a challenge. Uh... Oh. Well, Higgins would have got stuck, head stuck, and I would have had to heal him. <laughs> <laughs> if you can ask for XP for that, I'm going to ask for XP for, for identifying him. I, I genuinely didn't know if I could have done that. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, 350 for, for him, Braxton got some, and then the other people, is that all? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so everyone got 350, and uh, Higgins and Braxton got 70 each. Because they weren't knocked out of the combat, I take it. Yep. Pretty much. Oh, we didn't get 350, we just got 70. No, 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 you got 350 plus 70. Oh, okay. 420. Yeah. Right. Alright, and I think I looked over your, uh, everyone's uh, experience uh, oh, Maza. last time. So I, I think pretty much at this point everyone is uh, quite a ways away from uh, leveling up. Mm -hmm. Um... What I did want to ask about uh, was what you guys thought you wanted, would want to do after you wrap this up, um, mainly because it, you know, determines, you know, what I, what I prepare and everything like that. Um, did you guys want to, like, get started on another long adventure, or did you kind of want to, like, maybe go hunt pirates or something like that kind of thing? We, we, are, we still will uh, uh, adapt to this uh, priest who resurrected three of us. Yep, yep. Yeah. Right. That'll Something that'll that that'll line. get called in when it gets called in. Oh, yeah. I have some I have some ideas for it, but they're a little bit of ways off. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we've got a bit of a we've got a bit of tidying up to do. Um, so 
I was thinking we could go to House Colleen, Cohen and, and suggest that they use this right. ship to well, what uh, I meant, what I, okay, do let me, stuff. Let me, but then... let me rephrase. Let me rephrase. When everything related to this adventure is done, you know, you, you talk to people. Well, can, let me let me let me please finish. I, I just want to get this quick because this, this de determines what I kind of prepare uh, for the coming weeks. Um, did you guys like want to get started on another? you know, kind of lengthy adventure, uh, I've got it planned out, or did you want to, like, focus on trying to go hunt pirates and get enough money to, like, get a new ship kind of thing? No. I really like the uh, uh, longish adventure because there are different things to do. And I'd... I know that not everybody in this group uh, thinks the same, but uh, that's just what I think. I, li I really like the different parts that we had. That was including combat, that was including uh, mm. more or less detective work, doing stuff, uh, uh, doing stuff wrong or doing it right, and, and even getting into arguments about it, how we do something, how we solve something, how we think about it. I like that. Yeah. Going ahead well, and killing pirates, well, yeah, okay, but... Well, the well, question is, it kind of is, I mean... Uh, it, I mean, like, Leva and uh, Yeldon, both of you have uh, some stuff outside of Brawl's Crystal Sphere to uh, follow up on. But you've mm -hmm. got a small ship, not a very powerful ship. Um, mm -hmm. Braxton would probably, if, if we were all sitting down discussing this, Braxton would probably suggest that we uh, look for jobs within Brow's Crystal Sphere uh, because we've got a fairly inexperienced crew and we can get back to Brow if we get problems and we need to repair the ship and we could try and build up some funds. Um, but we should also talk about everyone's long-term aims uh, so that we can take them into account. So if we've got people that want to do things outside the sphere, uh, we can do that, but we should probably... Um, do some local things first. But that's why Braxton was proposing we could do like sort of runs, ferry and stuff. If uh, House Colleen's lost ships, maybe we could ferry some stuff for them. Well, while they right, get right. But I'm, I'm not. I'm not looking for specific details. I'm more looking for uh, short term. Uh... What way do you want the story to go? Well, well, uh, let, not let, even let, that. But like like short short term goals. Do you want to? Uh, as players move on to uh, another lengthy adventure like this, uh, which mm -hmm. may actually reward you enough uh, to get a new ship, or would you rather focus on getting a new ship sooner rather than later? Uh, a new ship that I... uh, you could have a, uh, you know, a, a wizard's laboratory in, so you could do spell research uh, long term. Um, something that would have better, you know, a, a better chance against uh, larger pirate ships, that sort of thing. That's kind of what I I'm looking for. I think uh, we should do have, like, something where we can get a short adventure where we can afford enough to get a bigger ship that would be more suited for spell jamming to these distant places so we can take care of things like uh, Leva stuff and Yeldon stuff. Uh, mm. Because we have to go to these different crystal spears. The ship we have right now is not really suited for that sort of thing. It's more of like a fighter type of ship, small class ship for like little short jaunts and that sort of thing. So if we're going to be doing bigger ventures, I'd rather have a uh, ship more mm. suited for something like that. It doesn't have to be a super large one, but I mean, I mean, yeah. even like a uh, octopus or whatever they're called or something like that, you know? Maybe something similar to the ship that that guy had when we went on our first adventure. No, that's smaller. That that uh, uh, the dragonfly is smaller than the wasp. The cuddle command not... is big, but not very maneuverable. Yeah, we might want to get something like hammer ship. I mean, this scaver ship is is quite a nice ship, but these funky controls, we're not going to want this ship. It's too, well, anyway, uh, too small that, for uh, me. would feel claustrophobic in it. Uh, it's I... too small. For me. Leva will take the long-term approach because she's already she took 20 years to think about her uh, to follow her uh, her owner, and she's now been on the road for 20 years to fear, to to find stuff. Uh, she is much more interested in doing long.
long term stuff. This, uh, oh, this your character? Uh, the, 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 and killing a few things. To, 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 uh, that's not her thing. But. Uh, but I mean, basically, what it would be is uh, either I get, you guys get started on an actual, you know, an, an, another long-term adventure with a fixed goal, or you just kind of like fly around, hunt down uh, random encounter pirate ships, kind of thing, and and any other space monsters that show up. I think our I, next big goal should be well, getting. Uh, like, hey, uh, can, can I please talk? To what, on the trip from there to yeah. There. Let's I haven't been able to voice my opinion yet. Okay, go uh, ahead. I kind of would prefer that we go for something with a bit more of a focus on a goal because I prefer having a bit I, I prefer having an end goal in mind when it comes to the things that we're doing, not just kind of randomly bopping about murder hoboing stuff. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I I, I kind of agree because I've to. sorry. Uh, all I have to say on the subject is whatever gets us a bigger ship so we can go on the long-term trips through the Flagistan to get to other places. How about some yeah, dungeon delve? Because that's what really matters to my character right now. But, yeah, uh, but Yeldon, mm. the, your character, no, not your character, you, uh, behind the character, uh, you were the one who had the most problem, uh, problems when we didn't just go off and, and uh, uh, enter combat. So if everybody else sort of go, go, wants to go for for a focused uh, long-term adventure in some ways, uh, you'll be the one who who has the most problems with it because that means you can't really do what you, what you want you to do. All right. Well, how about this? Uh, I mean, we we still have uh, you know more of this cavern to explore. I just kind of wanted to try and get a feel, and it sounds like. Um, I think Asher wanted to say something as well. Okay. Did... Uh, my thing is, is we have used up a lot of our resources doing this mission. We need to do some things to get our resources replenished. Um, mm. And then we also need the bigger ship to do the longer journeys and that sort of thing. I think it would be fun if we could find like a uh, dungeon, or not dungeon, but... Um, some sort of place to go treasure hunting. You know, explore and do a treasure hunting type of thing. I think that would be fun. Not necessarily just going around searching for a random counter, like we're trying to grind for experience on an RPG or something. You know, that makes I, sense. I've, I've really liked all the uh, adventures Ord's done so far. Um, we had a random encounter when we came here. So... I kind of think we could have a bit of both. That if we had a a job to do that takes us from A to B, we can do a bit of exploring. For example, we're in an well, asteroid cluster. We could explore these asteroids. Well, I have to say, uh, you may have enjoyed the, the fight with, uh, with the gnomes at the time. I did not. And I didn't say a word, but I did not. Because uh, you went off, you had all the action. I was sitting there because I was... Uh, I, I just happened to be at the, uh, what's it called? Uh, On I, the I, was the, I, I was the, I was the, and, and I couldn't go away. So I was sitting there. I was waiting for you to finish. I couldn't participate in the talk because I wasn't there. I couldn't actually do anything much because I wasn't there. And the only thing I could do was, uh, was, was, was have the ship go, go forward a bit and stop. And this is not fun. If you want to do something like that, Feel free, but if we if we are doing too much with that, then no. Well, Just what you could also do uh, is get another uh, helmsman, so that in most of the situations yes, there look, are other people. Yeah, but look, you, you make a random encounter. The, the the point of a random encounter is that it's random. You're not just gonna. Tell, oh, it's going to be 12 hours later because uh, the Edwin, uh, sorry, Edwin, uh, Leva is at the helm at the moment. Well, yeah. I mean, I, I determine what time it happens, but I, again, I mean, that could be something where you decide that um, you would hire people to man the helm so that you don't need to be in that position. Yeah. yeah. Well, uh, all right. Well, I, I wanted to get a, a feel, and I did get a, a bit of a feel. Uh, I want you guys to think about it and talk to me a little bit more, you know, in between the sessions, uh, especially concerns like like uh, that that you had at LV. Um 
because yeah. that's that's important. Uh, and I'll I'll try to uh, tailor what comes next to those concerns. Well, I, I, I want to make this clear that this is not a, not a proper complaint because if it had been complained, I would have said something at the time, but I didn't. And, well, right, uh, but it is a long-term but, but concern. I don't want to repeat this several times. Right, I understand. Just um, like I don't want to repeat having to be unconscious for most of the fight. Well, yeah, well, that's there's. Not... Uh, yeah, I didn't that's... want to spend like a grand res healing you up. That's oh, how much understood. a scroll will cost. Yeah, but so I mean, again, that's 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 a different situation because you know that's bad luck, bad dice rolls, bad you know it, dangerous situations. Uh, being on the helm is a little bit of a different scenario. Yeah. Uh, Some I mean, of these things. Sorry. If, if if I mean the 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 foes want to put you out of commission. So they're going to use resources that do that. Uh, you know, they're going to use the hold spells. They're going to use the, uh, um, you know, paralyzation uh, wands. They're going to they're going to do stuff like that. I'm not going to say no. They're not going to do that because that's not uh, realistic. Uh, otherwise, uh, I would ban you guys from using the same doing the same thing. Hmm. Uh, well, just to okay. point it out, uh, Aldous had me be paralyzed or knocked out or. Fake yeah. knocked out or uh, put to sleep every other fight. So <laughs> <laughs> actually, yeah, there's more than I've every said, other fight. But you do so. have a point. But you are, you are that is a problem. And it's usually like the first couple rounds, if anything. So well, well so you 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 had uh, a lot of uh, bad fortune anyway. You you spent most of the last fight uh, mm. thinking you were dead first, and then realizing you were paralyzed or or, or asleep at least. It's and, not the first uh, time either. <laughs> so. No, it's not the first time. And you also have abysmal luck in, 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 in throwing mm -hmm. your dice, so rolling your dice. Yeah. So every time something happens, you miss. I'm sure if, if you could, you, you, you'd come out and say, I don't want to miss every time. To, yeah. to be honest, go on. My, my point was is that uh, I, I've spent my fair share of uh, <laughs> just listening to you guys do your thing, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. To, to be honest, some of these things are bad luck. Uh, it, like Braxton was out of action for a bit. yeah. Um, but some of these things were a business decision. And the group as a whole took a business decision to have one helmsman. And that meant that we've had our own spellcasters on the helm. And if people don't like that, then we just have to raise enough funds to be able to hire another helmsman or another two helmsmen. And maybe we can't do it at the moment. So maybe the spellcasters get inconvenienced for the moment, but we can move towards that. If we write down what our goals are, then Ald could say, well, you can't do these things now. You can't afford a ship now. You need this much money to buy a ship. And we can work towards doing that, and then things change. I honestly have no idea about future goals for my character. My character's just kind of going along, just helping out with these adventures. I... I haven't thought of any, like, end goals for him. Yeah, doing the good deeds, yeah, so that sort of thing. All right, well, I, I just wanted to, you know, put those ideas out um, and, uh, you know, kind of get you guys uh, thinking a little bit about it and so you can talk to me. Um, if you guys want to continue talking to me uh, after I end the stream, that's uh, great, too. Um, but I wa I'm going to, you know, call it here and uh, end the stream. Uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed it, and... Uh, See everyone next time. Thanks for the game. Bye. Thanks.